Hello everybody, my name is Cirque, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Here we are in my forest. My machine room is back that way. The rubber farm that we did in the last episode is right over there. It looks pretty cool, I like it. I definitely like how that turned out. Um, today, there's a big chunk here. Um, today we're going to be starting uh, into the forestry mod. We're going to build a nice little room for it. And then we'll um, kind of get the basics set up, get some of the basic machines. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll, I really want to get into bees. Uh, well, first of all, we're going to make a platform here. And I'm going to make it look like this honeycomb. Although it's actually going to look like this honeycomb, because that's a mundane comb. Um, but I'm just using this for the pattern so I can kind of see it on here um, so let's see I want to like I said I want to get into bees uh, for two reasons the first reason is because bees are awesome and you can get like metals and uh, different materials from them um, silky wisps which you can use to make silk uh, like silk things um, which you can make the really cool backpacks, the ones that have 45 slots, which gives you a lot more inventory space. Um, and the other reason I want to get into bees is, let's see, is that right? Yeah, is because you can get all of the uh, new or all the different forestry trees with the bees. You have to. Um, you have to like breed the bees around um, certain trees and the bees will pollinate the trees and that will mutate them and give you new saplings which is really cool uh, so this needs to be like that and then this needs to be like that and then this goes up there and then there I have two up here so yeah, I want to make this look like a honeycomb because I think that would look cool. And actually, I've done this before, and it did look cool, and I liked it a lot. And so we're just going to copy it and do it again because I am unoriginal. No, that's not the reason. Um, actually, I'm kind of doing the same stuff a lot as I did um, in the last map when I, we first played Feed the Beast on the server. And part of the reason is because that time really felt short and I didn't really get to do as much stuff as I wanted to. And part of that, I mean, I could have gotten a lot more done than I did. Um, I did stop playing prematurely before we were actually, um, before the server, I quit playing quite a bit um, before the server actually reset. Uh, but even with that, you know, I kind of felt like our time there was cut short, and so I really view like our last time playing Feed the Beast as more of a kind of a practice round. Uh, that's where I just learned the basics about Feed the Beast, and learned how to get set up and what kind of stuff I really want to uh, look into, what kind of stuff I want to explore. And so this time around, it's you know I don't think we'll have to do. A map reset at least in a while um, I believe they actually uh, worked on making it so that uh, we shouldn't have to do map resets anymore for feed the beast which would be really nice because I would hate to do map resets every single time that uh, we updated the pack so so even though you know I'm doing a lot of the same things it's because I really liked the ideas that I had, and I feel like I didn't really get to uh, use them very much last time around. And so I really want to uh, show them here and use them, actually get some use out of them. Because these are good ideas. I like this. I like this comb design. I really like the way it looks. It just is really awesome looking. And it makes sense. I mean, it's forestry. You're doing bees. And yeah, and it, it's, a, it's a good use of the different woods. 
Um, and these are actually completely different woods than I had to use last time. Uh, need more loft wood. I don't think I, we had any of these woods before. We didn't have the Sakura. Because these are, I think the Sakura there is uh, um, Natura, which we did not have last time. And the rest are Biomes of Plenty, which last time we had um, Biomes XL or something like that. I don't know, it's a different biomes um, one. There's something different here. And it's this block. That one shouldn't be there. So now that should all be done. Does it look like it? I think it does. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. Uh, so now what we need to do is get some sort of walls on here, which I haven't decided. So I think I'm going to... Uh, cut the camera and figure that out so you're not uh, watching me sit here and decide for 30 minutes. Well, I think I got a nice little uh, design done here. Took longer than I wanted because of these stupid things. Uh, I got the brilliant idea to use amber blocks. That is what these are. Which is, um, you get this amber, there's there's ore in the ground, and you can, com you can combine um, four of them to make an amber block just like this and that's what these are and then you can combine four of these amber blocks to make four amber bricks which is what's on the bottom and then you can just take these and you can turn the, both the blocks and the bricks back into amber so that's kind of nice I like not having to waste things um, but I quickly went through my supply of amber I only had like three stacks which yeah did not amount three or four stacks, which only amounted to a stack of blocks, and I needed a lot more than that to make this wall. Uh, but I really like it. I like um, the reason I chose this. I was just going to put glass on the walls, uh, but I like, but this is still transparent, and it kind of reminds me of honey, which goes along with the uh, honeycomb design here. So I really like the way that looks, and then I just have a nice, simple, uh, flat glass roof. So it really, I think it looks nice from from above. In fact, even on the mini map, let's see if we can zoom in more. On the little mini map up in the corner, you can see the nice honeycomb design. I like that a lot. Um, and then I also made the floor um, a little bit thicker. There's one block of space in between, and that is because we're gonna get some engines in here, and I want to run some piping in the floor. So let's go uh, over to my crafting area real quick, as fast as we can with our nano armor and haste three. And then we'll uh, craft some peat fired engines, which is the uh, start out um, forestry engine. So to make that, we're gonna need some copper. We're gonna need some sticks. Uh, we're gonna need a piston. So I think we'll have to make one. I don't think I have any pistons. Um, and I'll probably make a couple or a few peat-fired engines. There we go. So we'll need some iron. And we'll need some glass. Do I have glass on me still? Nope. So we'll need the glass. And is that everything? I th think so. So let's try this out. So we'll need uh, some gears. And I'll just make one peat fired engine to start out with and I think copper gear you just have to surround wood gear oh nope uh, you have to surround stone gear that's right you usually have to make a stone gear at least and then you can surround it with the metals so now we have two copper gears then we need our piston and I need wood that's what I forgot and redstone obviously Ugh playing feed the beast crafting all these weird things I forget how to do the uh, vanilla stuff so obviously nice little piston here and then the way you craft any engine is a piston um, glass in the middle then you have your gears um, out of whatever metal and then this metal up on top so there's our peat fired engine and I'm gonna make a few more of these and then we'll get started all right, so we're just gonna have a real basic setup uh, right now. I have some wooden uh, conductive pipes and some gold conductive pipes down underneath the floor here. 
And we're going to stick our four engines that I made uh, just right here. And then uh, these are peat fired, so we're going to need to put some peat in there. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is. That must be for maybe bituminous peat or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know too much about these. Um, and I don't think I'll be using these very much. Uh, I might just put in electrical engines and some solar panels because I'd be able to get a lot more power uh, from that. I can make a lot of solar panels pretty quickly. And let's put these levers down because we're going to need to power send a redstone signal for these to run. Um, but anyways, I can easily stick or make um, like a medium voltage or yeah, medium voltage uh, solar panel array and power some electrical engines, which would power the forestry machines pretty well. Whereas these, they only put out um, one megajoule per tick for peat. And if you make some bituminous peat, which is a little bit more expensive or harder to make, um, let's check this out. Or let's just do, let's check out peat. So peat you get from stuff. Uh, we'll be making some peat, but uh, the bituminous peat you have to mix with ash and propolis. And propolis is from the bees. Ash... Um, I forget where that's from. I think it's actually... I wonder... Actually, that might be what this is. I think this thing actually gives off ash uh, from the peat. But anyway, so it's it's really not all that efficient. And electrical electrical engine might work better. But I wanted to kind of try these out and uh, play with them. Um, so first, we're going to meet, to get this peat. We're going to need to make some bog earth. Which I believe is like this. Um, let's see. Yep. So there we have some bog earth. And let's just make a bunch of that. Because we're going to need lots of fuel. At least eventually. So. Uh, just craft all this. Looks like I'll have some leftover sand and dirt. Which is fine. And then what we need to do is stick this bog earth by a water source. So I'm going to actually fill up some of these buckets again. And we'll uh, stick some water sources up over this way. I think right underneath um, the machine room. Because I have some nice chunk loaders there. And so I don't know how long this is going to take. I hope it doesn't take long. Um, but let's try it, I guess. Let's stick some bog earth there, see what happens. And I think it needs to be right next to it, but I'm not 100% sure. This is the first time I've ever played around with this stuff, so, uh, I'll just keep doing this and, uh, bring you in when something changes, I guess. So yeah, I looked it up just to make sure I knew what I was doing, and this is, uh, kind of the basic setup. Um, you just place down bog earth around a water source and uh, even diagonally will work and so you just have a uh, three by three area like this and you just have to wait for it to moisten I guess so we'll let that sit and while that's uh, working on itself I guess um, we're gonna make some other forestry stuff like a carpenter we're gonna need a carpenter to make uh, the beehives, the apiaries, or I think it's apiaries. Um, so yeah, we'll need to make one of these, which is sturdy casing made out of bronze and then, uh, some bronze there. So to make bronze, we need tin and copper. So, uh, there's a bit of leg. It's been pretty bad today. I'm not sure why. I think it's actually been kind of bad lately. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, so how much bronze are we going to need? Because if we do that, that makes four bronze. And I might actually have some bronze. Come on. Uh, two ingots. I got some. 
So for the sturdy casing, we're going to need eight ingots, and then we're going to need six more. So I can just make oh, eight more, and that should be enough then. So we have our sturdy casing there, and then our bronze on the side, and there's our carpenter. And then um, another thing I need to make is a squeezer. Um, for bees, I'm going to need this to, so that's tin with a sturdy casing. So we'll need eight more bronze, um, but I'll use the squeezer to get some seed oil out of seeds. And basically I need the seed oil to put into the carpenter to make the, um, to make the apiaries without the seed oil, then I can't make those, which, yeah, the carpenter, it either uses seed oil or water for anything that it does. So you always have to make sure that you have either one of those things on hand. Um, and it depends on the recipe. So if we look up apiary, uh, here we have an apiary and it's, Shaped forestry. Oh, it doesn't even show it on here. That's weird. Um, I wonder if... No, you can't make these without... Oh, that's right. Yeah, because you need the impregnated casing. So that's uh, eight logs in a circle, and then you need seed oil. A certain amount of seed oil in a carpenter. So... Um, I guess I'll have to get a farm started real quick because I don't have too many seeds. Let's check on our bog, see if there's any uh, peat there. Uh, nope, I don't see anything different. It looks it all looks like bog earth yet, so I guess we'll let that sit for longer. Well, it looks like we got some... Oh, there another one goes. We got some peat, um, peat earth coming here. So when we break it, it looks like we got a dirt and one of those, uh, I don't know why I put dirt there. I do have some more uh, bog earth I can replace this with. So it gives us a dirt and uh, some peat. So that's cool. Um, so let's go through and uh, replace all this. Whoops. Uh, get all this peat that's ready to go. And like I said, the server's laggy, so it's kind of doesn't quite uh, pick up the things that I do like that. And I also started a bit of a farm over there, so I got some seeds. I think I have about 60. Yeah, I have 60 seeds right now. So that should be plenty to get us started with seed oil. And just fill that in. So we got 12 peat right now that we can stick into our peat fired engines and we got 60 seeds to um, extract now I will need some sort of capsule um, and I also or let's see this is my squeezer and there's my carpenter and then I also made a centrifuge which is used for um, breaking down um, like honeycombs and stuff which I actually do have that mundane comb this is the only comb that I have uh, so we can stick that in there, and it doesn't have any power right now, but we can give it some power. So we're going to have to create some sort of capsule. Um, let's see, so if we look up the uh, apiary again, and this impregnated casing, so we can make, um, I know I can make those... Let's see, that's seed oil. Seed oil can, seed oil barrel. Um, those we can't make. That's a wax capsule, which is what we eventually will make. Um, let's see, a can. So that's just three tin. We can do that. So let's go make some cans. Okay, so now we can go to our squeezer, stick our cans in there, and our seeds uh, in here. And I wonder if these will give us... I think they will. Might as well stick those in there. We got plenty of cotton and barley seeds. Uh, so now we just need some energy. So let's stick some peat in here. So we'll 
divide it up evenly. Um, put three in each. Come on. Three more in there. And I, I don't remember exactly how long this will fire. I think it's like a thousand ticks, which, um, how long would that be? I guess it depends on if it's a game tick or a redstone tick. It's probably a game tick, which I think is point, is, I think it's point one seconds. So that'd be, what, 10, 100 seconds, maybe? Unless I'm doing my math wrong, which is entirely possible. So here the squeezer is working. And is it? It's doing something. I think it's filling this up with seed oil. Although I don't see anything happening at the moment. Do we have to stick this somewhere else? No, I'm pretty sure that needs to go there. So I think it will fill this up with seed oil. And then once there's enough to fill up a can, it will make a can. Um, and then, oh, our centrifuge is already done. So we have a honey drop and some beeswax. So that is cool. And this beeswax is what we can use to make the wax capsules uh, once we actually get a good supply of that. All right, well, it took a lot of seeds. It took a lot more than the 60 that we had. I think it took around 100 seeds, actually. I suppose since it fills up like point 0.1. Um, yeah, so anyways, yeah, it only gives you like, actually, it's probably a hundredth um, for each seed. And so it takes a hundred seeds to actually fill up one of these cans. And we finally have that. So now we can stick this in here. And now we have some seed oil and we can make an impregnated casing. So you do that by um, just right clicking the pattern that you want in the carpenter and then it will make impregnated casings. And it will make as many as it can with the resources that you have down here and the seed oil they had over here. So we're gonna make a few and we can um, then make, let's see, we can turn that into planks because then we can use that and that. And there's our first apiary. So now we can start breeding bees and exploring some of that part of forestry. Um, I know there's a lot more to forestry than bees. Uh, well, for one, the trees, which we also want to explore, but that involves the bees. Uh, but there's also like auto farms. Like, you know, right now we're just kind of uh, using our hands to get all that peat and all the seeds. Um, but there's actually auto farms that you can make that will do that on its own. And we might get into that. I'm not entirely sure. I definitely want to check it out, look into it, because um, it does look kind of interesting. Let's see if we have we got three more impregnated casings. and So it looks like one can of seed oil makes only uh, four impregnated casings. <laughs> Um, so we're going to need a lot more seeds and we're going to need to uh, do something better, I think. I did plant some melons over here and I was using a lot of bone meal. Uh, maybe I, we'll have to get some sort of skelly farm going. Uh, we have a pumpkin and another melon grown. But yeah, maybe we'll have to get some sort of uh, skelly farm going, get, a, get us a bunch of um, bone meal so that we can make a nice uh, bone meal farm to get all these seeds that we need. So we can craft these into seeds and I can use those. But that's only nine seeds, so that's not even a tenth of a can. So yeah, we're definitely going to need a lot more seeds. Um, but anyways, I think that's where we will end off on this episode. And there's a nice little wisp behind us. Stay away. Um, let's go just head towards that. I hope you guys like my little building for the forestry, and I hope you like this little introduction. We didn't do too much in forestry. Um, I just kind of wanted to get the basics set up, and now uh, after this episode or before the next episode or something, I will uh, work on these bees. I will start breeding them, maybe try and mutate some trees, and then I'll just bring you guys... Uh, in after I, you know, learn some stuff, after I find some stuff, or 
you know, accomplish some things. So, uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button down below, leave a comment down below. Uh, I love reading your comments and, uh, until next time, goodbye peoples.